Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about sequence alignment. So the focus of today's talk will be what is pairwise sequence alignment, what is multiple sequence alignment, uh, what are the different web-based tools for multiple sequence alignment and pairwise sequence alignment. I'm going to show you examples of sequences and the alignment using these different tools. And finally, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between sequence similarity and sequence identity. Okay, so this will be the focus of today's video. So that the first point that I want to discuss is sequence alignment. Okay, so as you can see that this word sequence alignment, there are two words. One is sequence and the another is alignment. So what it is actually. Sequence alignment is a way of arranging sequences. Okay, as the name suggests, it is the way of arranging sequences. What kind of sequences? It can be a DNA sequence, RNA sequence, or a protein sequence. To identify the reasons of similarity, that may be a consequence of functional, structural, or convol convolutionary relationships between the sequences. Okay. So what is the sequence alignment? The sequence alignment is the alignment of either these nucleotide bases like A, Z, C, T or the amino acids from the protein, okay, like here. So this one here shows an example uh, of a, an alignment where these, uh, the amino acid sequences have been used. This is protein 1 and protein 2 and this one is a pairwise, example of pairwise alignment about which I will discuss later. And this one here has been shown like there are three sequences that have been aligned and this is an example of multiple sequence alignment about which I will also talk in the later slides. So now moving to the pairwise sequence alignment. So what is pairwise sequence alignment? Pair is, as you see here, the pair, the word pair means that we are aligning only two sequences. Okay, so basically pairwise sequence, sequence alignment is used to identify the reasons of similarity or the identity that may indicate functional, structural, or evol evolutionary relationships between two biological sequences. These, these sequences can be protein or amino acid sequence or the nucleic acids, nucleotide sequence. Okay, so pairwise sequence alignment, as you can see, we have this one sequence from protein 1 and the other from the protein 2. And this here is shown the result of the sequence alignment. Okay, so in pairwise sequence alignment, we have either two amino acid sequence from two proteins or two nucleotide basis sequence like A, Z, C, T. So th th there can be only two, uh, two different sequences, not more than two. Okay, so this is pairwise sequence alignment. And the next is multiple sequence alignment. So the multiple sequence alignment is the alignment of three or more biological sequences. Okay, three or more biological sequences. So that if we are aligning three or more biological sequences, it can be nucleotide sequence or amino acid sequence. That kind of alignment is called multiple sequence alignment. Okay, as you can see here, this is an alignment of three proteins, pro gamma, alpha, and beta. And this is the result of the sequence alignment. Okay, I'm going to talk about what are these different, what, what does these different things indicate in the sequence alignment results in the later part of today's talk. So now, first, let me talk about what is sequence identity. Sequence identity is the amount of characters or the percentage of the amount of the characters which exactly match between the two different sequences. Okay, so let's let's take an example of these two sequence A and B. And as you can see here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four characters, actually five characters match. Okay, so therefore the identity between A and B is actually 100%, five identical nucleotide. Okay, so in B we had list number five. So out of the five, five are identical. So we, we take into account of the minimum length sequence. Uh, but the identity between B and C, okay, when we do the alignment B and C, let's look a, a, at this AAGC and AAZ, AAGGC. So it is also 100%. But the identity between A and C, if we, if we look at the identity between A and C, we have to look at what are the characters that are exactly matching 
and that comes around 85%, although uh, there are six identical nucleotides out of seven. So 100% identity does not mean that two sequences are the same. This we you must understand, okay? 100% identity doesn't mean that the two sequences are the same. Uh, sequence similarity. Sequence similarity is the percentage of the aligned residues that can be that can be a more readily substituted for each other. Okay, so the, what does it mean? It means that these residues might have similar physiological properties or sequence uh, alignment uh, sequence sim ident similarity. Sorry, a, is is sometimes but not always defined by a sequence distance. The smaller the distance, the more similar the sequences are. Yeah, this is also one thing that you, you should know. So basically, not only the identity, but also the similar physiological properties of the aligned aligned bases or amino acid bases or the nucleotide bases is also taken into account when we talk about sequence similarity. Okay, I'll give you an example. So, so look at this example, guys, here. So we have, this is the end result. We have here protein one and this is protein two and this is the end result of the sequence alignment so as you can see that here the so it has shown here the identity identity percentage is 33.3 percent so let's look at this guys so one two three four five six okay in total in, in both the case in proteins we have six uh, six six bases amino acid bases and out of which only these two, okay, M, M, and R, R, these are only the identical characters. They are matching. So two out of six is 33.3%, okay? And this is the identity, percentage identity. But when we look at the percentage similarity, guys, so what is it actually? So in percentage similarity, we will include identical characters. So basically R, this one, and this one, two, this will be included. And also here, shown by the two dots, Okay, one dot means that these sequences are not e e neither identical nor similar. Two dot means like this kind of two dot means that these these um, these sequence these 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 base this, so basically these bases are similar. So how this is similar? So leucine and isoleucine leucine, they have similar physical chemical properties. These two amino acids they have similar physical chemical properties. So therefore, the identity is three. Is, so similarity is sorry, three out of six, which is fifty percent, guys. So I hope now you are clear. In identity, we only look at the exactly masked characters. Okay, when we look in the sequence alignment, we only look at the exactly masked characters. When in when it comes to similarity, we also look at the similar similar characters in addition to the identical characters. Similar meaning that, for example, as uh, so. Some similar amino acids, for example, uh, like this leucine and isoleucine, they are physic uh, physical uh, chemically similar. Okay, so guys, now that we have talked about what is sequence alignment, what is pairwise sequence alignment, multiple sequence alignment, what is sequence identity, sequence similarity, now I'm going to show you how to perform these sequence alignments using web based tools. The web-based tools that we will be using, they are for the multiple sequence alignments. There is the tool is called Muscle, and this is the website for that. And for the pairwise sequence alignment, we will be using the tool called Needle, and this is the link for that. I will also provide the links for all these tools in the description of this video. Okay. As I mentioned al already, that pairwise sequence alignment. I have now opened the website of, of, of the link that I provided. So pairwise sequence alignment is actually used to identify the reasons of similarity that may indicate functional, structural, or evolutionary relationship that I have already discussed. And so multiple sequence alignment, it is the alignment of three or more biological sequences, um, the definition I have already discussed. So for the pairwise sequence alignment, the tool that we will be using is called Needle, N-E-E-D-L-E, -E -E Needle, it's embossed Needle. And this is the link for that, the link of which I will also provide in the description. So uh, the, there are two kinds of alignment in pairwise sequence alignment. One ki kind is called global alignment. So global alignment tools, they create an end-to-end -end alignment of the sequences to be aligned. Okay, so global alignment, they create end-to-end -end alignment of the sequence. 
that means they, tr uh, they try to match end to end, whereas another kind of alignment, the, with the pairwise alignment, that is called local alignment. So in the local alignment, uh, what tools do? They find one or more alignments describe, describing the most similar reasons within the se sequences to be used. So basically, they, they find one or more alignments describing the most similar reasons within the, within the sequences to be aligned. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, can, uh, they, they are can align. They can al they uh, they can align protein and nucleotide sequences. Okay, so basically these tools they can align protein and nucleotide sequences. So we will take the example of we will take the example of uh, uh, we will just enter use this tool. We'll do the global sequence alignment for pairwise sequence alignment. We we're just gonna use this tool called Needle. I'm just gonna click here, and it it has now taken me to the Needle. So we are doing what kind of alignment that we have to select here. So you can select protein or DNA because I'm going to show you the example of protein sequence alignment. So I will just select protein and I'm just going to take two proteins. OK, I'm just going to take the sequ sequences, amino acid sequences of two protein. I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it here. So but one thing. So this is one protein sequence. I'll paste it here. Whereas this other protein sequence, this one, I will paste it here. Okay, I'm just gonna paste it here. So guys, the more, one important thing is that if you are if you want to write the name, then you have to um, enter the name in the faster format. So faster format is with this greater than sign, right? So I what I I didn't do anything. I just put the sequences one each in the in 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 in, in the blank, and then. I'm just going to keep everything default. You can also upload a file if you have a file and I'm just going to click on submit. OK, so it will take some time and it will it, it will take some time to show us the results depending on the length of the sequences. Uh, during that time, you just have to wait. Now the result is there. So how they have shown the results. Let's look at it, guys. OK, so as you can see here, this is the this is the alignment aligned alignment alignment form. Whereas here they have mentioned the length was 59 and identity was 54 percent. So identity between the two sequences, alpha and beta pro, amino protein sequences, uh, the identity was 54 percent. Whereas similarity similarity was at 62 uh, percent. That means 37 out of 59 uh, amino acid bases were similar. So in these in these uh, in these uh, alignments, so how are you going to know which is similar and which are not? You see, aligned 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 bases are shown as like this with these this this. Whereas if there is a gap, then they will they will have this this kind of gap. And for the similar, for example, valine and isoleucine, right? Valine and isoleucine, they are similar amino acids. That's why you see two dot. One dot means that they are neither similar nor identical. Here also valine, valine and isoleucine, they are also V and I, they are similar and L and L, L and L, they are identical, of course. So here also you can see that L and M, these two amino acids, they are similar. So two dot means that the amino acid bases are similar. OK, so this is the result, guys. OK, pretty simple. Just take the sequences, put this in the blank and then just hit submit and then you will get the result. So the tool that we used is the emboss needle. OK, so this is the tool, the link of which I will provide in the description. So now let's go to another tool. This is another web based tool that is available for multiple sequence alignment. That is called muscle. Muscle stands for multiple sequence alignment. So so basically what we are in multiple sequence alignment, so you need to have at least three sequences and you have to put all the sequences in the FASTA format, which I have already done here in the blank. Just need to paste your sequences. You can simply paste it here, which I have already done uh, the, at least three, three sequences. At least it can be more than that, but it has to be at least three sequences up to 500 sequences and maximum one MB size. You can also upload the file. And it asks, you know, in which output format we want the result, cluster W or file equivalent, and these are different options, but I'm just going to keep it default. OK, you can also get notified of the result by clicking here. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as such. I'm just going to hit on submit. 
Okay, so now it is doing computational calculation and now we have the result guys you see here so this is the result this is the alignments alignment summary this is the alignment summary so and uh, as you can see that here these these this star indicates that these um, bases are identical whereas these two dot they indicate that the bases are similar and so if we have one one dot which means that they are neither identical nor similar right and this this kind of dash dash it means that there is a gap okay so this is the alignment and if you if you want to know the result summary you can click it here and so you will you just click it here and it will show result summary in tool output format and in, in, in different formats if you want the phylogenetic tree you can also click here it will give us the phylogenetic tree and it's there is a different options how you want to visualize the results and result viewer submission detail and you can track all the details right so uh, this is the example of how to perform multiple sequence alignment using this tool called muscle guys okay i hope this video was helpful you can also download this file please subscribe our channel like and share the video and also support us on paypal the link for which has also been provided in the description thank you very much